this is the Kagu Danji. Uh, that means um, <clears throat> furniture complex. And I rode the bus. The bus dropped me off up there, and then the sidewalk stopped. So now, now I'm walking on this on ramp. I need to get some things for my apartment. I need a desk chair. I've been sitting on a box that has been killing my back. So I need a desk chair desperately. Um, I would love to have a table, like in the kitchen, like that kind of table. And maybe, maybe some shelving to put towels and stuff on. I don't have any place to store towels for the bathroom. And other things, you know, get, get things out of the way. Yeah. Get them off the floor. So, I don't know what this place is like, but I will soon find out. I plugged my phone in to charge it. And I left it by accident at home, so I have no idea what time it is. But this place seems like uh, just like high class furniture I know <laughs> you think you think you know to look around at um, how how tacky it all looks you'd think it was just cheap stuff but no this is um, this is the good stuff just tacky places where they sell it I'm gonna keep looking though I don't want to spend a lot of money on this for God's sake I might not even be here next year Okay, uh, this store specializes in uh, office furniture. So I did get a chair. I'm willing to spend money for a new chair because, well, my back, you know. Everything else here is new and I don't really want to buy new, the other stuff. So, mm, I'll go back to the second-hand store. I didn't see everything at the second-hand store, so they might have tables and stuff there. That's where I got my fridge and uh, my washer. Oh, look at that. It's my first bill at my new apartment. 202. That's me. Of course, uh, Kim Min Gyeong, that's the owner. I rent from him. Her. I don't know. Some Korean names I, I can tell if it's a woman or a man with some Korean names. A lot of Korean names I can't. Anyway. March, whatever this is. March something. It's 48 degrees. That's as, that's as warm as it's going to get today. And uh, I'm really getting antsy. To ride a bike. I want to go get my bike, but 48 degrees, no. Even with, even with, um, um, even with my uh, my big mittens and bundling up, it's got to be it's got to be at least at least in the upper 60s before I will. I can't, I can't think with this going on. This guy, uh, that's how they sell things. Well, you've seen it before in other videos. They just have a recorded message and they're selling shit off the back of their trucks. Jeez Louise, get out of here! It took him long enough. Anyway, as I was saying, um, it has to be at least in the upper 60s Fahrenheit before I will consider riding my bike for a long distance. If I'm just riding to work or something, it can be below freezing. It doesn't bother me, but because it's a short trip. But this is gonna. This is like 350 kilometers. I'm gonna take the the train down to uh, Gyeongju have my bike looked at by at the mechanic shop and then ride it the 350 kilometers back and it's going to be a lot more than 350 kilometers because um, have you ever been in Korea I will get lost uh, so it's probably gonna end up more like 400 something we'll find out I'll keep I'll keep track of how many kilometers it is but 
So, but I am getting antsy. It's driving me nuts. I can't ride. I'm watching everybody's moto vlog and getting jealous. I got a uh, desk. I, I ordered a chair today for my desk. Waiting for that to show up. So, I'm going to go back inside because it is cold out here. Pardon my language. Oh, hey, those birds, I can always tell when my, my cats are in the window. The, the magpies go nuts when they see the cats in the window. It's funny. <laughs>